New study links Alzheimer's disease with liver function and diet. New research suggests obesity that affects the liver could play a part in the long-term onset of Alzheimer's and dementia. The results of this new study was presented at the recent Alzheimer's Association International Conference, AAIC, 2018 in Chicago. Scientists have presented new research pointing to the liver as a potential culprit in the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Presented at the Alzheimer's Association International Conference, the research suggests that a compound produced in the liver can confer neurocognitive protections, and when the liver cannot effectively produce those compounds then cognitive deficits can result in the brain. Molecules called plasmalogens were the primary focus of the new research. These are a class of lipids generated in the liver, and certain types have been found to be critical for effective synaptic function in the brain. The study set out to measure whether reduced levels of several specific types of plasmalogens corresponded with an increased risk of Alzheimer's or mild cognitive decline. Over 1,500 human subjects were examined, split into three categories, those clinically diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, those with clinically diagnosed mild cognitive impairment, or those healthy and cognitively normal. The results showed statistically significant differences in plasmalogen levels between all three groups with lower levels associated with higher rates of Alzheimer's or cognitive decline. This research shows that an age-related deficiency of plasmalogens could lead to an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, because the liver cannot make enough of them, says Mitchell Kling, one of the researchers on the project. The study isn't the first to implicate the liver as playing a role in the onset of Alzheimer's disease. A compelling study from 2011 found that one of the primary genes suspected in production of the pathogenic amyloid beta protein is mostly expressed in the liver. This study hypothesized that the proteins that are thought to be responsible for many cognitive deficits seen in Alzheimer's actually originate in the liver and then travel to the brain via the bloodstream. Another study, similarly focused on the liver, found that an enzyme the organ produces generates fundamental neuroprotective effects. And when a person's liver isn't effectively producing it brain metabolism can suffer. This particular study was also examining a liver-generated lipid, much like the recent work. Perhaps the most interesting implication suggested by this growing body of research is that dietary effects on the liver may play a role in the subsequent development of Alzheimer's and cognitive impairment. A recent study does back up this possible hypothesis, finding an association between non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and increased risk of Alzheimer's. The new research highlights a potential relationship between conditions such as obesity and diabetes and Alzheimer's, as the liver has to work harder to break down fatty acids over time, explains Kling. This could lead to the eventual destruction of the paroxysms that create plasmalogens which thus, increases the risk of Alzheimer's. It is still early days for much of this research but it offers intriguing pathways suggesting scientists could do well by looking outside of the brain when trying to find new ways to approach and treat Alzheimer's disease. Moving forward, we're examining the connections between plasmalogens, other lipids, and cognition, in addition to gene expression in the liver and the brain, says Kling. While we're in the early stages of discovering how the liver, lipids, and diet are related to Alzheimer's disease and neurodegeneration, it's been promising. The results of this new study was presented at the recent Alzheimer's Association International Conference, AAIC, 2018 in Chicago. Will there soon be a cure for Alzheimer's? Impressive new research led by scientists from UT Southwestern has discovered the earliest point in a neurodegenerative process that is thought to lead to dementia. The researchers have described their discovery like finding the big bang of Alzheimer's disease. And they hope that their work leads to new treatments and ways to detect the disease before major symptoms occur. Mark Diamond, a primary collaborator on this new study, says that this is perhaps the biggest finding we have made to date though it will likely be some time before any benefits materialize in the clinic. This changes much of how we think about the problem. Modern Alzheimer's research usually concentrates on a specific protein called amyloid beta. And the clumping of that protein is suspected to be the primary pathological cause of the disease's symptoms. However, after a long series of clinical trial failures in drugs designed to attack these amyloid beta plaques, some scientists are turning their attention elsewhere. This new research focuses on a different protein that is called tau. 
These tau proteins have been found to form abnormal clumps in the brain, called neurofibrillary tangles, which accumulate and kill neurons. Some researchers have hypothesized that this is the primary cause of Alzheimer's. Until now, it was not known how, or when, these tau proteins began to accumulate into tangles in the brain. It was previously believed that isolated tau proteins didn't have a distinctly harmful shape until they began to aggregate with other tau proteins. But this new research has shown that a toxic tau protein actually presents itself as misfolded. Exposing parts that are usually folded inside, before it begins to aggregate. It's these exposed parts of the protein that enable aggregation, forming the larger toxic tangles. Diamond says that we think of this as the Big Bang of tau pathology. This is a way of peering to the very beginning of the disease process. It moves us back to a very discrete point where we see the appearance of the first molecular change that leads to neurodegeneration in Alzheimer's. From here, the research is due to take two separate perspective pathways. One will first look at developing a simple diagnostic test to detect signs of this abnormal tau protein, either by taking a blood sample or a spinal fluid test. If these toxic tau proteins can be easily detected then doctors might just be able to diagnose Alzheimer's before the major degenerative symptoms have taken hold. The second research pathway involves investigating prospective drug treatments that could interrupt the tau aggregation process. The researchers point to a new drug called Tafamides as an example of a medicine that was designed to stabilize a protein that can clump and cause adverse symptoms. Tafamides was created to delay impairment to nerve function caused by the toxic accumulation of a normally harmless protein called transthyretin. And it's currently approved for use in Europe and Japan. However, the FDA has called for further clinical proof before this drug is available for use in the US. Now that this early alteration in the shape of tau molecules has been identified, researchers can focus on potential drug targets to inhibit the toxic accumulation at this stage. The hunt is on to build on this finding and make a treatment that blocks the neurodegeneration process where it begins. If it works, the incidence of Alzheimer's disease could be substantially reduced, says Diamond.